history on our journey. On progress in vital areas such as water, electricity, roads, agriculture, and education, it has been woefully insufficient. And I think we can all agree. As Marcus Garvey once said, a people without knowledge of their past history and origin and culture is like a tree without its roots. The failures of the past 62 years have weighed heavily on us. Whether through negligence or misguided leadership in the past, we're here today standing in front of you, not as proud as we should be, but nevertheless, very proud in where we have landed. We must nourish our roots to ensure our growth. We are witnessing encroachment on our lands. The departure of the youths who are seeking better outside and never return. We as leaders are the ones charted with the responsibility to carry the wisdom of our ancestors. So I ask each of you, where are the leaders with the spirit of liberation? Where's the pride that made us the beacon of freedom on the world stage? It is time for us to wake in once more. It is time for us to take our place, both domestic and globally. The words of Harriet Tubman resonate deeply. Every great dream begins with a dreamer. Let us dream together of a revitalized Maroon nation, where our children thrive, our culture flourishes, and our identity celebrated. We're not sellouts. We birth a nation. The action plans for sustainable development, trade, foreign affairs are ready to be executed. That's what we've been working on. To embrace unity, loyalty, and humility. Let us work hand in hand driven by pride in who we are and what we can achieve because we already did it. The world is watching and we will show them the strength of the Maroons. We want to give thanks to Queen Nani. I know she's with us. Colonel Latibo dear. Youngest on the throne. But what he has done since he has come here is represented for truth, represented for unity, and represented for loyalty. And for that, I commend you, sir, for taking up the mantle and doing what you ought to do for your people. It is our people. And today, we stand here in unity in the absence of Colonel Douglas. I want to invite her brother here, Mr. Douglas. Mr. Douglas, Mr. Douglas, could you please step forward, sir? Captain Douglas, I stand corrected. Put your hand in, sir. First of all, again, my condolences to you and your family from the truth of my heart. You have a responsibility in your community. And your sister would have had no one else look up to to help bring semblance and bring restore the order to your community. Thank you for your support of the culture. Stand strong with your family. And we are here to help and support you and the others in the Charlestown community. Yes, sir. Together we stand. United. Thank you.
Thank you, sirs. It is a pleasure to be here. I am very happy for the spirit of unity, the seed of which is sown now. I don't care about what has gone before. What I care about and speak to is what happens as of now. Give me the man. Oh, Mr. Ramadan.